Good afternoon guys, welcome back to another video. This afternoon we are going to be looking at the rabbit personality and seeing what the cards have in store for all those people born in the year of the rabbit. We are going to take three cards from this deck, the Chinese Oracle deck, and we are going to be doing a past, present, future kind of reading. If you're new, you'll pick it up relatively quickly. And if you're not new, then you've seen this before because it doesn't change. It remains the same. Um, I just shuffle these cards uh, with my eyes closed, uh, which makes it difficult because I can't actually see what I'm doing. But I am getting slightly, I, I tell myself this, that I'm getting better. I don't actually know if I am getting better at the shuffling. I just don't drop as many cards as I usually did or, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get this shuffle underway. I'm not the greatest shuffler, but it seems to work. So what will be, will be, as they say. So three cards, eyes closed. Let's see what we've got. We want one past, one present, one future for the rabbit people. What have we got for you guys this week? Of course, we're coming to the end of the rabbit year now, aren't we? So uh, the dragon year is only just a couple of weeks away. Um, less than that, actually. I think it may be about a week and a half away now. Um, and then we'll be moving into the year of the dragon. So that's exciting stuff. Right, let's leave that there. Let's go one, two, three. Oh, let's see. Uh, have I done that? Black there for the past, present, future. We've got black, white, white. Fantastic stuff. Looking good, my lovely rabbit people. Looking good. In fact, things are really looking up, considering like the weak glass was this negative card here, and now we're moving into these two white cards. So things are starting to look relatively well, or relatively looking up, so that does seem good. So let's see what's happening here with this negative card. We've got that negative monkey. You've had too much to do, haven't you, my lovely rabbit person? You've just had too much to do. There's a lot on your plate right now. A lot on your plate, and you may feel like there's people around you right now that are kind of scheming and against you. Maybe, uh, maybe even plotting in some way, or at least you think they are. You're finding it very hard to trust right now. I think there's something going on where you've got a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot of stuff going on and you're finding it hard to trust that you're going to get it done, maybe. Maybe you're doubting yourself a little bit there, my uh, my lovely rabbit friend. Maybe you're feeling a little bit like... Um, maybe you're feeling like um, you are... You're going up against some sort of subtle rivalry that you don't even know if you are, um, are ready for. Like, you don't know if you can compete with this. Or you've been in a place where you feel less than perfect. You feel like you're not good enough. You feel like you need some magic in your life. And you feel that if you get stuff done, if you do the things you need to do, that will help you. And that will help you and it will give you the advantage. If you can get the stuff done that you need to get done. If you can if you can utilise this monkey card and do those things that are on your to-do list, then you will be able to um you'll be you'll be able to make the progress that you want to make. And that's what you're that's what you're kind of convinced of. But there are people around you that aren't so convinced of that. And you may find it very hard to trust the moment that you're in, the trust that place that you're in. You're trying to do your best. I mean, you're trying to look on the positive. You're trying to think of the sort of, you know, the long term. But it's completely useless. It's completely useless. Because right now, the things that are going on around you, they need to be taken care of. They need to be done. You need to, you need to think about things because you're, you're very close to being outwitted. You're very close to being outwitted. And I think you've realised this. And I think that monkey perspective has really pulled you back. And, it, and it's pulled you down. And when I say pull you down, I think into a more humble place where somebody's put you in your place and said, that's not going to happen or that's a no from me. And that's kind of taken you back a bit, made you withdrawn, made you reserved. Now you don't trust much. Maybe you don't trust yourself. Maybe you were wrong and now you're doubting yourself. But you're not going to stay in that place for long because you're going to move into this white dog here. So... Potentially, you 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 you're done with the criticizing. You're done with the con with the criticizing. You're done with people just telling you what you can't do. You're done with the people saying that you can't do this and you can't do that and that's impossible and it can't be done. And you're kind of getting sick of that attitude. And that's putting you on the defensive, that defensive dog, but in a good way. You're standing up for yourself, and and I feel you need to because the dog and the rabbit there are very compatible. It's very rewarding. There's a re there, there is rewards to come from this. You're going to uh, this is not a trusting card. This is not you finding trust but this is this is the dog has integrity the dog has loyalty the dog the dog can be trusted it's, it's very trusted it's a very trustworthy card and i think you're going to find that trust whether in yourself or 
or you're going to come to some sort of understanding with the people around you that will allow you to trust again and that trust is there so you just need to kind of uncover a little bit you just need to work on it it has to be it has to be worked on it's not going to happen very very easily and it will require you to call a truce it will recall it will it will it will, it will need you to recall all of the things that you find um toxic or negative or sort of uh, bad things about yourself and you need to you need to keep them in check and be aware of them because it will be a force to be reckoned with if you do not you know if you want to find harmony and happiness then you need to not be aggressive don't be demanding don't be unreasonable you need to be collected you need to be thoughtful you need to be considerate you need to have some integrity here you need to have some respect you need to have some sort of um you know code a code of honor almost in order for this this monkey card to not affect you and i think that's the place that you've come into right now where you're in that place in that defensive protected dog area and now that you feel a little bit safer now that you feel a little bit you've been knocked down you've re you've retreated a little bit You've come back to consider things. You've considered it and you've considered it well because you've taken it into a place of uh, I must protect myself. I must look after myself. I must make sure that I'm OK right now because I was wrong or they think I'm wrong. And I want to be able to um, come back from that. I want to be able to I want to be able to learn from this. And although it has put you on the defensive, I feel like you are going to start really feeling yourself a little, lot more. And I think that's going to that's going to build up trust for you. There, there's going to be trust here that's going to be able to be recovered. You're going to be able to recover this trust, whatever it is. Um, and you've got you've got to uh, you've got to take into a, a consideration that with that white snake there, that you've got some snake karma, whether it is it, whether it is to be served or um, or to be delivered i don't know but um that white snake card there is definitely showing you in a good place intuitively i think that you've made the right decisions there i think that potentially there is a wisdom that you have that you haven't neglected you know it's there it's just you need to be reminded of it sometimes you know this is a very deep a very deep card for you right now because that is that is sort of like symbolizing the next step forward for you as if you are letting go of the past you're letting go of the animosities you're letting go of the grudges the black snake that's holding on that's gripping that's that's not letting go and i think that this snake here is either you're letting go in the right places or you're not letting go where you don't have to which is okay as well like there's there's good good signs from this and i think it's come it's going to come back to that will to rectify things you want to invest in this you don't want to not trust you know there's things to do you know there's things to fix this is the fixer do it card and you're being criticized and put down because of it and it has knocked you down but you've moved into a defensive area you've been you've been looking at it from a different perspective or, or weighing up the odds and stuff and you think you know what it's okay I can move forward. I'll just move slowly. The snake is very slow. One of the slowest in the entire Zodiac. Very, very slow and does not make a move that is not calculated. And that is what that is showing you there. You are being very calculated. You are thinking about things. Borderline manipulative almost, where you're manipulating the things around you. Snakes are master manipulators. They can move and flow with a variety of different things they can swim in the sea they can climb the trees they can go down in the rocks the sand the grass they can manipulate the environment around them and very much like the monkey very much like the monkey that can manipulate the environment and people and things around them snakes are very much like this as well very much like that and i think that that symbolizes you shaping things for for the future as you move forward, as you invest in things, as you as you repair these bonds, as you start to form attractions, you know, there is there is a need to tolerate the position you are in right now to get the job done and to achieve your aims, to achieve your goals, to achieve where you want to be, to move forward, even if it is very slowly at a snake cruel and slither, you are making that progress and you are headed towards the the sort of light at the end of the tunnel, you know? And it has to be done that way. There's no way around that. There's no way around that. If you want to avoid the criticism, if you want to avoid the kind of hardships of the monkey week last week, 
you are going to have to stay in this defensive place. This is a defensive set right here. These two cards, the dog and the snake, are two of the most defensive um, of all the Zodiac personalities. They do get easily offended. They do go on the defense. They do lash out. They will not take um, criticism. They will not take, uh, you know, um, slights and um, insult. They won't take that easily. And I think that's where you've, uh, as a rabbit, you've got to kind of take that uh, approach as well. Because I know that you want everybody to be happy. I know that you want things to work out well. I know that you have this uh, sort of affinity to to kind of just be a jolly chap and and make everybody around you happy and feel accepted and that everybody is kind of, you know, having fun and whatnot. But it doesn't always work that way, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. But it's nice to know that you are considerate of others right now. It's nice to know that you are considering others. And I think it's because of that monkey card that it, it's brought other people into your sort of um, sort of into your space. And it's made you consider things that potentially you wouldn't have considered before. And that's probably because the dog card there has made you defensive on it lash out maybe a little bit in a snaky way or at least that's what's going to happen this week you're going to lash out a little bit in a snaky way but it's not going to be a bad thing and you're going to put people in their place a little bit but don't be afraid of that don't be afraid to spit a little venom sometimes don't be afraid to hang on to the things that you believe in don't be afraid to pursue the things that you believe are going to make you happy don't be afraid to do any of that you know go for it it's a good it's a good time. It's a good time to move forward because the actions that you are going to be taking are going to be delivering the negative karma to those people around you that need to see it and experience that. This week is going to be one of wisdom and intuition and learning. You are going to be thinking and moving very slowly. And as a rabbit, that may frustrate you because you want to move faster than that, especially if you feel trapped. But you're not on the defensive so much as a dog. You're on the defensive as a snake. So whereas a dog will bark and growl and and uh, run at the gate or jump up at the door to make sure everybody knows he's there. I'm here. I'm here. Don't you dare come near me. I'll bite you. I'll defend this place. I'm the I'm the junkyard dog and I protect this uh, place. That's not what you're moving into. That's where you are right now. Bark, bark, bark. Growl, growl, growl. Bite, bite, bite. No, 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 no. You are going to learn that... You need to be a little bit more subtle than that because the snake does not bark. The snake does not give warning, really. The snake will sit, sit there coiled up, silent, still, waiting for, waiting for the opportunity. And that's what you need to do now. Sit back and just wait for that opportunity, no matter what that opportunity is or how it uh, presents itself. You wait and you strike when the time is ready. And we'll find out next week how that gets on for you guys because uh, we'll be doing a rabbit reading next week. Uh, next week. Next Tuesday, um, when we return for those rabbit people. So please do leave a comment in the uh, comments below if um, you have any questions or it resonates or whatever. Um, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Tomorrow morning, we will be doing another reading for the dragon. And tomorrow afternoon, we'll be doing a reading for those snake people. So if you... Uh, if you are interested, I will see you then. And if not, then I will just see all you lovely rabbit people next Tuesday when we do your cards again. I hope you have a fantastic day, guys.